as parents, um, it's been a great sport to find anywhere that understands our son and um, where he can come and re be relaxed and actually be himself. That's one thing I noticed on day one here, that when he arrived, he's just really relaxed and it was great seeing his real personality coming out. So that's been the biggest benefit so far. For our son, it's been lovely for him as well to meet children either with a diagnosis or similar kind of needs as him. Um, again, it's just given him a little bit of a self-confidence boost because I think he's felt very the odd one out if you like because he's at mainstream school. Yeah, so I'd said the staff are amazing. They're all very uh, experienced, which is brilliant, um, and they make everybody feel very welcome and uh, they're very understanding of the children's individual needs. Um, I think probably that's the biggest struggle we've come up against is, you know, people that kind of understand our son's diagnosis um, because he's high functioning autism so he's not instantly, um, doesn't fit the instant mould of what people expect of an autistic child if you like. So uh, it's been great that just been able to, people just to tap into what he needs individually. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, that's made it unique for us. For day to day there is constant challenges with him and um, explaining. I suppose we don't have the expert knowledge or experience of how to relay messages to him in a kind of calm approach and um, whereas the staff here are have experience plus they're not emotionally involved with him. I think as a parent you take a different approach and when you're exposed to it 24-7 it's quite tiring. So I think even ha having the kind of break here, again, break for him as well from us, um, is a bit of real confidence boost. He's older than the group, but that's not worried him and it's not worried me because he's accepted and he knows you guys and he's happy to be here. For me, you guys know him. You've taken time to get to know him. Recently, we've had an example of a service not wanting to take him somewhere because of the unknowns and not enough staff and too many risks. too many risks. Yeah, whereas this is quite short and sharp, and everybody gets on with each other. There's no pressure to to conform. Yeah, yeah. So why why does sensational work when maybe other services can of don't hit the mark. It's small. And as I say, you get to know Brendan, so he's quite relaxed when he comes here. Um, I'm quite relaxed. I've not spent the morning going, you must do this and you must do that, because, um, again, we're not having to conform to and you think stereotypical. That's partly because of the specialism of the staffing? Of course, yeah, very much so, yeah. They understand the kids and um, they just treat them as normal. Cool. You know, they, they don't put demands on them that are too much for them. No, I mean, you, you just see how settled he is through the artist now. He's, he's really settled and happy to be here. And he's not concerned that he's the oldest boy. It's almost, it's good for him to be here because he can be himself. So for any other parents that were kind of thinking about having maybe not come to Sensational yet or having reservations about getting involved because they maybe aren't sure what we provide or how well we can meet those needs, what, what would you say to them? Give it a go. Yeah, <laughs> really would. Because it's not just the kids, I mean... It's support for us as well. I mean, there's so many different branches of sensational that you can tap into. Tea and tips and all sorts. So no, I would say give it a go. Cool. Um, if you don't try it, then, you know, you're, you're losing out. You'll not know how sensational. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs>